Hello, I am Bella Damiani, a master's student from the University of Florida Department of Agricultural Education and Communication. During this session, we are going to focus on the materials and methods section of divisions three through six of the AgriScience Fair project report. Using the National AgriScience Fair Handbook rubric, this section should be written so that others can replicate the study and results. The section should encompass all required materials, provide a hypothesis, slash research question, and explain the study design. If statistical procedures were used, they must also be explained. This section should be written in third person and in a narrative form. To begin, highlighted in green, the specific design of the experiment is identified. In this example, it is a two-group experimental design. As we scroll through the materials and methods section, you can see that this is written in narrative form and describes the procedures of the experimental design. Near the end of the material and methods narrative, the hypothesis is indicated by the yellow highlighting. The blue highlighting contains the statistical procedures that were used. The materials are addressed through a table at the end of the materials and methods section. It is important to include the amount or quantity of each material used for others to replicate. It should also be noted that this may not be a comprehensive materials and methods section as you may typically have. This is an example to provide components that are contained within a materials and methods section of your report.